Hello, and welcome once again to the Hacknet, where we continue our hacking adventures uh, things. Now, as usual, when we start the game, I encounter some issues. And give me a moment, please. Yeah, you should be able to see my screen now. Um, as usual, when we start up again, we need to uh, get all our shells back in place. We start with security shells, then we start with shells to help us deal with uh, proxies and then we start with remembering what the hell we were doing last episode and it looks to me like we finished one of the contracts so we go to another contract um, so we can investigate a CSAC member's disappearance each and all dog new tricks, remove a fabricated death row record, track an encrypted file, wipe clean an academic record, compromise an EOS device, help an aspiring writer and decrypt a secure transmission. Well, that seems like an easy peasy job. Hey, a friend sent over some details of a job uh, we are on but threw it under encryption and I just don't have a means of getting it open. It's up on the crossroads at contact deck. Can you decrypt it and import it to the drop server? The password should be Kinock. So that's our crossroads. That's our drop server. Um, CPC exam. Why do I do it by the way? Can you explain to me? This password? Shit. Um, why do I need it here then? Key UI. Like this? No. No, oh, no, you say file not found. Contact uses a Gmail account under D look. I know we've been after this for a long time, but don't get hasty just because this is a solid lead. We take it slow, more updates when I've got a plan for it. Uh, upload home txt. Now a little bit of cleaning. Here, uh, this, this, this. Uh, 
Um, bam, bam. Cool. I've already got it, member of CSAC and a personal friend of many people here, dropped off Greed over two weeks ago and hasn't made contact with anyone. While numerous private investigations are no doubt underway, I'd like to make this an official CSAC posting for anyone who that wants to help. We're looking for any information we can get regarding his disappearance or ideally current state. Hey, uh, this will be a less formal email and I'm going to sign it with my handle, no need for anonymity here, we're looking out for a friend. So a bit went dark a little over two weeks ago, which is pretty unusual. I mean going dark for a bit is fine, but not contacting anyone here? Two weeks? Something's up! I've thrown in a few links to some servers he owns or uses, so maybe dig around there. If you find anything, throw it up on the CSAC drop server and I'll check it out. So we have his test PC, I think we've already been there, and his relay, and that thing is a new one. So how about we check out this thing? We need to crack all four of them. I see no security measures, which is weird. This is a less ravey composition, so a little bit more relaxing. And then it's time for a brute force. God damn it, this thing is not renamed. I need a full name, can you imagine this atrocity? I am not going to actually go into these folders. Mainly because they probably have something archived from Bosch. If you are reading this, uh, you've run into and then broken into one of my relay servers. If you are looking to get in contact with me for some reason, throw a file up on my drop server, I check it occasionally. 108 160 165 139 108 160 165 139 Bitwise drop server Binary is empty Oh, everything is empty Oh, well, I've never been here This should be something extremely weird. I need to crack 5. Uh, I should be able to crack 5. Um, upload... Home... What do we have there? Uh, I guess I did my best, right? Oh, it's not the fastest race, by the way. But... But he... 
Баризер. Найс. Now just hacking ports one after another one. Yeah, but the trace is atrocious as well. Oh my god, 10% is done. logs but mostly I believe also from Bash some data binary is empty system is empty drop that server message alrighty upload uh, let's uh, remove my uh, shame uh, test upload Test file, please ignore. Blah 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 blah. blah. File sanitizer CS. Okay, whatever that is. Where are you? Hey man, you never replied. What are you? Out partying or something? It's been a week, let me know. Uh, let me know, there you are, you never told me what that thing was. This would have been the last time I checked the server, but apparently someone been messing with it. Bad timing for me, but oh well. I've been working with Antec on some pretty heavy projects and things aren't looking so great. As in, I don't think they want me around anymore or saying these sort of things, not great. I don't know, maybe I'm just freaking out about it. I'm going to dig around a bit, see if there is any danger there. Sure feels like there is. And tag. Oh, I only see... me messing around the server. Does and tag rings ring a bell? Nice work finding that. Hope it wasn't too much trouble. This is a bit of concern. I'm going to look into this a bit more. I'll let you know if I dig anything up. Nice. Um, let's do the EOS device thing. This will be kept cured. Okay. A client has requested that we search the computer and devices of a given target for what they are calling a registration ID. They believe it will be stored on an EOS device synced to the target's home computer. Link attached. Cell home workstation. Once you have this ID, respond here with it and we'll handle the rest. Mm, Alright.
still find it difficult to determine which one is slower. Go away. Eleanor's Hellerain iPhone. IDs registration AX one BB seven. Once again, I've never been there. BB7 Ranking is 30 now We are advancing um. mm. Okay, let's do this one Binary University. It's good to have friends in high places in digital security companies, especially friends that know nothing about computer security. One such very friendly individual has recently been contacted by an agent and we need a small show of power to win him over. We'd like you to give him a new degree from his local university in Manchester. Name John Stelvern, degree Masters in Digital Security, University Manchester University, GPA 3 or higher. Important, remember to clean your tracks, international institutes rely on their reputation to remain relevant if you are compromising that. Uh, you are compromising that. If they discover this, they will not be forgiving. Taking you immediately. AC Academic Academic Oh Christ! I cannot have my notes. I cannot have my notes. My PC is awful. I mean, memory is cheap nowadays. What stops you from upgrading your memory? Okay, academic data. Uh, okay. Beyond. Tectonic. Okay. Uh, John Stalvern. Okay. 
Very uh, boys. Uh, John Stalvern. Marketing. To security. Masters in Digital Security, Manchester University 3.3. Once again, I've never been here. Now, if you search an entry for John Stelvern, he has a degree of Masters in Digital Security of Manchester University with the GPA 3 or higher. Super. Yeah, 19. Well, that was not too much of a progression, I must say. Wipe clean an academic record. A CSAC member that wishes to remain anonymous um, needs a small job done. They are unable to complete this uh, themselves for anonymity and motive proofing reasons. A former employer has continued to underpay and generally enforce money saving, but employee welfare compromising practices on all of his employees for some time. The agent would like his academic record white, wiped clean removed as a part of a side project to correct his wrongs. I expect some more details. It uh, sounds like some bullshit. Um, okay, contract the former employee needs to have his academic uh, s uh, to have his academic stripped clean, wiped completely of all degrees named Jacob Stevens. Are you asking me to actually remove it? Jacob Stevens. Jacob Stevens. Hmm. I mean, yeah, okay. Jacob, oh yeah, CD, active, uh, entry cash, uh, Jacob Stevens. Done. Now it's 9 out of 10. Um, now, let's track an encrypted file, I guess. We think we've located a way to track down where tech encrypted files were encoded. We have a password locked file and want it opened. There should be enough leads for you to go on. Sounds interesting, actually through the spy glass. Apparently, tech encrypted files store the IP they were encoded at with some miscellaneous messages in their encoded headers, presumably for debug purposes or something. But to us, it looks like a wide open security vulnerability, which is great because we have something we needed, uh, we need decoded, and we have no idea what the password for it is. So first step, Find a way to read these headers. We had a bit of uh, a dig around and found out that one of the solution employees might have a way to decode headers without knowing the password of a file. Go take a look around on his end and reply if you find anything useful. We'll have more for you after that. Joseph Scott.
Okay. So far, so good. Thank god SSH is the fast one. But I think in real life, cracking SSH is actually one of the... One of the I, I, I wanna hope it's a difficult operation. Probably it also depends on... on uh, and the date on the length of the RSA keys that you are using, if you are using RSA keys, of course. Deck head XA. Deck. Um, this is seriously getting out of hand. First of the problems with actually being able to break the encryption without the proprietary tool. Now this, reading the header is still a big problem. There's the encode source IP in there, which yeah, is still a huge security concern. Thanks very much, I don't care. How much easier it makes your debugging sessions and quiet relationships? Well, here's some more working proof that we've got problems. I let the dust settle on the first bombshell, then throw this into the ring. Two at once might get me fired. Best hold on to this till things calm down a bit. Oh, deck had a Why do you cause me so many problems? I guess it's more just outsourcing in general. Why am I blogging into a TXT file? Painkillers. I was supposed to drop it on a on a thing, right? In reply, I have some leads. Neat. Got something good? Alright, the file we are looking at uh, is up in the crossroads. CSAC and code 1. We renamed it so people wouldn't go messing with it. It was originally named WinCE Firmware Specs when we got it, if that helps. Anyway, read the headers of that, find out where it was encoded and go track that password down. Reply to this with the password in the email and we'll take care of the rest. CSAC encode 1. Uh, deck head. CSAC encode 1. Scan 168 61 Microsoft Workhouse Server Alrighty Well, at least they have some security in place I'm saying some because uh, traces are rather slow, I'd say. Oh, now it's just up to waiting. Web server is opened. FTP is opened as well. Let's go have a look for the password, shall we? I assume it's under work logs. Job and code file arguments file lemon stealing. Okay. Main CS output win C. Firmware specs password beep beep. Beep. 
And that, ladies and gentlemen, is not a joke. <laughs> File. Naruto X-rated collection. Output printer drivers. Oh well. Okay, I've never been here. Well, you just got to believe it. Contract successful and my current rating is 1 out of 100. Flagged for critical contract. Agent, administrators have flagged your account with permissions to accept a critical contract. This is listed as CSAC on the listings page. Be aware that accepting this contract may be either time-consuming or require confidentiality and a separation from other projects for a time and should be undertaken only with the expectation that other contracts and possibly CSAC services may be unavailable for its duration. I think here. Excuse me. Which one is labeled as a CSAC? I see no idea which one is marked as a CSAC actually. Do I need to do something with it? No. What's a sequencer, by the way? Yeah, link available. Well, I don't see anything useful, so why don't we just, like, I don't know, Project June bug? Okay, let's do this. Hacker, this isn't a normal request and we are not going to treat it as such. We've been asked to perform a euthanization. Obviously we sent out a few others to dig up data on it and a few from outside groups so as not to raise suspicion some time ago. And largely speaking, it's come back all clear. It seems uh, the man in question, one Elliot Weed, is hospitalized in considerable pain and against his wishes has been denied the option of death. A failed attempt by his family earlier has prevented them from performing subsequent efforts until a member proposed this option. It seems the pacemaker he is fitted with allows remote access with proper authorization and they believe this may be an avenue to fulfill this request. Naturally, given the nature of this request, we can accept that you may not want to be involved. Reply with deny in your response and we will remove you from the project. 
If you decide to help us with this matter, you should know that it will likely take some amount of investigation and testing, given that, as far as we know, this has never been before attempted. We recommend starting with the target's medical record, identifying the chip, looking for its manufacturers, and going from there. Universal Medical We are looking for Elliot Wheat. Um, I am looking... Random entry. Why would you ever need a random entry? Age 61 years old. Um, due to recurring and critical arith arithmetic problems in the patient's heart, they have been fitted with a pacemaker that can allow some fine tuning to account for unknown variables without invasive surgery. References, Spacemaker, Connection ID, Documentation and Notes. Yeah, the Pacemaker with widely... With, 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 uh, which looks uh, to the internet. That's... Uh, that is something, I must say. Like, the person who did it, or designed it, is at least bold. Kelly's Biotech Client Services. Kelly's Biotech and you, using the server and some other stuff that I don't have currently access to. Yeah, we gotta be fast on that one actually. This one does not screw around, I must say. I'm becoming concerned. Hmm. Ah, that was convenient, of course. So I need 14. Ah, shit. I need 15 security and clearances and firmware and patching. Come on. Shit. Did I clean it? Um. Now I did. Um. Pa -pa -pa. 
This post details the remote monitoring and update functionality of the pacemaker. For general operation, consult the hard copy documentation and request another copy from uh, the pacemaker designed uh, continue high risk. The pacemaker can be connected to remotely, providing them so with real time ECG data and some small clerical update tools. Given the sensitive nature of the system, the system is hard locked only except binary update packages signed by the build server of the chips assigned software designer. Updates are generally only provided on a case specific basis. Kelly's updating system makes these changes possible without the need for further interactive operation, although variations of the chip include tools for manual updating settings. This have been removed for security concerns, and this current version only allows pacemaker behaviors changes to be made via firmware patch. Okay. Security and clearances. Clearing security to perform a firmware update once assigned binary has been retrieved from the software developers requires several steps. First, connect to the pacemaker chip using the patient's uh, reference IP address. Okay, I have that. Login as administrator using details that will have been assigned on a per case basis by the client. This step is protected using Alice's proprietary microport protection system, port 6652. Um, okay. The firmware for the, the chip was written by Eidolon Soft version control. Queries and updates are handled through the central server. One 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 oh five two two one. Um, pa 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 Okay, I think this is it for now. This one does not seem as fast, actually. We are down to 10% and I am already opened all the ports. Uh, and tag. Human capital and cancer. Huh. Internal goals and security notes. Uh, Killers BT tests. Uh, test guide. Currently signed testing testing firmware named pacemaker firmware cycle test. Hmm. It's test suite. What's that? Thing. Give me the test guide actually as well. Mm. 
now. We have the security notes. As discussed in recent meetings, our support teams need wildcard access to our systems to perform effective maintenance and updates when called out to the field. To achieve this, we are introducing a new e-admin on all our new products. This account will be set up with full privileges and testing functions enabled and will be constant across our range and versions. What this means for support teams is that they will have an easy means of gaining access to debug and admin functionality on test products in the field. And for our deployment managers, you need to remember to add this account to the setup scripts of all outgoing products. Coolio. 1086 Add node e admin 1086 As part of our test cycle, before running the unit test suit on a chip, a cycle check needs to be performed hook it up uh, to the test station and run the cycle as its firmware test and uh, this just cycles through all valid outputs and times itself to check that it's hitting timings correctly. More of a hardware test than anything on our end, but it's helpful to pick up subtle errors too. After it's run, it'll dump its data to the station and you can go ahead and flash it uh, and patch in your new test version. No, I need uh, this one. Connect to the pacemaker, log in using administrator using details that will have been assigned on a per case basis. And then about the, the, the stuff. So does this mean that I can actually just go like this Crap. I'm definitely missing something, right? Um... I don't see anything useful here. I forgot one thing, by the way. But it does not help me.
Ah, production asset server. See, I knew that I'm missing something. Oh, blah, pa, 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 pa. Let's go for the analyze. Uh, e, uh, e. Is it Banjo again? Oh, people, stop with that. This is seriously not cool. Get it, and this time we will start with scanning. Kelly's biotech client services, but this is something that we knew, right? Yes. Alright, let's see what do we have here. We have something called production. Media pack. Yeah, whatever you are. KBT port test and read me. Yeah, yeah, I'm already getting out of here. Um, I took two things from there. Read me port tester. KBT port tester, okay. Um... KBPT is a utility made for testing and stressing the Kellis Medical Standard port number 104. This tool can be deployed with the hardware package on request to test the device under scrutiny. It is designed to flood the port with traffic including that of outside sources, some of which the program pulls in itself. So obviously this should not be used on live devices as though they are tested by Kellis locally. Applying unnecessary stress on components and code is not a responsible behavior. Yeah, um... It's kinda not the thing I am here. Okay. Ooh! That looks fancy. But takes a lot of time. Shall we scan for other devices? Like maybe we have a lever implant or anything? Post, oh, stop making sounds. Stop making sounds. Uh, e admin tens eighty six. So, wait, can we uh, upload a home? There should be pacemaker firmware cycle test. 
now if we go to this thing uh, stop making sounds stop making sounds yep Get the hell out of here. I, uh, obviously I never was there and you never saw anything. Um, okay, I need to do something uh, criminally non-incriminating. Um, anybody, can you come up with some sort of, I don't know, Romantical haiku about uh, the bug that uh, is done for? I, I don't know. I need. Uh, um, uh, the Reaper has come. bit foundation hey so this is a bit unorthodox but i pulled some strings you'll be the one that did the bit contract before looking for what happened there i'm after some more information and i wanted the same person on it if you are getting this it means you've just finished your assigned contract so we're good to go to be frank, the term pulling strings with CSAC isn't something you really use lightly, and in this case it's even more so. You got results fast, and I want you on this case too. More collaboratively this time. If I sound confident, you'll want to join in here. I've good reason for it. There is a very substantial incentive waiting for you on the CSAC asset server. Look for binary TK trace skill deck. Decrypt it with password dx122dx Get a copy and reply me back. As always, the admins are paranoid about their security so it will be anonymously routed back through their systems to me. Whatever, just reply here when you are ready and I will let you know what, what's next. Trace skill deck. What kind of stuff do you have for me? I need to do some cleaning here, by the way. I'm so pissed that uh, the wild cards do not work here. This is like you.
Now let's decipher this trace key or whatever that is. Vapor trick. Did you, by the way, nullify your IP address? Oh, you snake. So I do have this thing, but uh, why is it uh, not in usable ones? Uh, move uh, trace skill executable to binary. Uh, trace skill. Ah. Move file to a destination. Eh. Ah, thank you. Insufficient memory. How much memory do you need? What? Steel? Oh, just barely if I close my shell. Um, but in any case, gents, I, uh, ladies and gents, by the way, we welcome everybody here. Um, I'd like to wrap an episode around here. Uh, I think it was a nice one. Uh, we definitely advanced uh, within the CSAC. We are now number one of a hundred. Uh, but not only that, we also finished the project Junebug by effectively murdering a person. Uh, believing what was uh, written in an email that this person tried euthanasia before. Um, Obviously, I don't know what is it true or not, but uh, um, I trust my friends, I trust my employer, let's, uh, let's I guess, put it like this. Um, in any case, for now I'd like to say thank you for staying with me, I hope you enjoy my company and uh, the gameplay. And in such a case, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel, or otherwise let me know down in the comments what I can improve for you. I hope to see you next time. Have a nice day out there, and bye!